What up, y'all? Doing another Supreme Draft. First pack. Guilds of Ravnica? Is that what this is called? District Guide. That's a Civic Wayfinder. That can get a gate. Risk Factor is pretty sweet. Rock Charger is pretty, pretty bonkers. Force Mono Red, Risk Factor. And then what? And then what? I definitely don't want to force a mono colored deck in a Ravnica, Ravnica uh, draft experience. Pretty sure it's Rock Charger District Guide. This this card is bananas. And this card just fixes. Oh, Beast Whisperer seems wonderful. Oh, man. Is this another Guilds of Ravnica pack? That's pretty wild. I got myself in a real pickle here. I have a lot, a ton of tossed salad and scrambled eggs, but no idea what to do with them. Well, so would you say you hear them calling? Convoke Hexproofer? This fat idiot? It's not terrible. I think we're definitely taking Beast Whisperer. I also like Rhizome Lurcher. Rhizome Lurcher is actually pretty powerful. Deadweight also pretty decent. But we're not black yet. Could be black. Maybe we just stick to the white here and figure out. I'll take our Boreal Elemental. That's fine. Oh, now we're in uh, old school. Ooh, are we going to go... Are we just banting it? Ooh, banting it sounds nice. We could take Simic Growth Chamber and Minister of Impediments. That seems real good. Yeah, definitely taking Simic Growth Chamber. I'll take any, any bounce land I can find. Silkwing Scout, also pretty good. Biogenic Upgrade. Distribute three counters among one, two, or three creatures, then double the number of one encounters on each of those. So you basically put two counters on those creatures. Essentially. Hmm. Summary Judgment deals 3 damage. If you cast it during your main phase, it deals 5 damage. Actually, not bad. Um, I think it might be Biogenic Upgrade and Summary Judgment. Doom, da -da -doom. Samsung Financing emails me and they're like, Hey, Frank, Galaxy Note 20 has arrived. Galaxy Note 25G has arrived. And I'm like, I'm real tempted to trade in my Note 10 for it. But the problem is that, like, I still have, like, $300 left to pay on my Note 10. So, <laughs> it kind of negates a lot of the savings. But also, God, Destroy a Creature actually pretty decent as well. T-Mobile used to have a deal. It was called, like, T-Mobile Up or something. And, like, every two years you could, like, trade in your phone for a new phone. And it wouldn't cost you anything. You would just be able to like do that, and and you would just start your payments again. I think I, I forgot what it was called, but it was fantastic. Consigned to the pit is pretty bad. Tbh, what about get to the point? Get the point, Matthew. You like get the point? I'm gonna take summary judgment and biogenic upgrade. I'm gonna take the cards that I initially wanted. Dovin's acuity. Whenever you cast an instant during your main phase, to bounce it back to the hand. How many guild gates can we get for Gatebreaker Ram? Aeromunculus is very, very good. I like Ram a lot, and I feel like we could probably pick up some gates, but the, the problem with the gates is that they would have to be our first picks, right? Like, they would have to devote several packs to picking up gates. So I think it's actually just Acuity and Aeromunculus. Like, Aramon Kill is just a 3-4 flyer. I think it's great. I still have my Note 9 and haven't felt the need to... I, I mean, my, my Note 10 is great. I don't feel the need to upgrade. But I like upgrading. I actually don't think Dovin's Acuity is great here. Because, like, we have literally one instant that we can, that we can cast. I mean, we do have 
like 12 more packs. Dude, I don't know what's going on over here, but I'm very itchy. Well, iPhone, iPhone XR is still like very, very new too, right? Um, I think Thrash is reasonable. We can't cast the threat part. I think it's just a double green fight, which is not super exciting. I mean, if you have Gatebreaker Ram and even like two gates, it's still very good, right? Can I put this back? <laughs> uh, it's either Ram or it's Dovin's Acuity. These are the... Like, this relies on instance, this relies on gates. I, I think we're going to take this, because even by itself, it's still very good. <gasps> oh, shit. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Wow, that's wild. Heroes Reunion, gain 7 life. We can cast it during our main phase to gain 9 life. This guy's actually not terrible. Just a 2-4 flash with Vigilance. Eyes in the Sky is also pretty decent, but it we don't have a ton of creatures to, to copy with it. Currently. Could be good, though. It is an instant, though. Yeah, all right. We'll take two instants. Mm, beetle form mage. Plus two, plus two. Once a turn. Sounds good. I am the eye in the sky. Looking at you. I can change your mind. Mutant prey... Target creature with a one one counter fights target creature and opponent controls. So this is just like this is just worse than prey upon, except that it's an instant, right? So <sighs> Cluestone's fine. I'm not excited by it at all. I got Watson down here. Um uh, God, why are they all three mana? I mean, let's take Crassus Incubation. guess it's I think the clue stones are terrible I'd rather take this guy and just hope we get like two gates actually mutants prey could be fine we have air and that's probably it okay okay I mean our white's too good to just to just abandon right now with rock charge rise in the sky and summary judgment I think I mean, it could go four, <laughs> four color. This is a this actually gains flying. I think this card's actually pretty decent. We could take that. Another Demir Guildgate. I it, see. It's funny because I wanted to be like, well, it looks like our colors are drying up. But I mean, there's no one else drafting this. This is just an open pack. Uh, create a three three or gain two life for each creature you control or both. That's actually fine. We are going to start picking up, picking up some two drops. Yeah, we'll take alive and well. Maybe just woodlock crawler. Just in case. Dragon shift. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Blast of genius. This card's great. Choose any target, draw three. Discard, deals damage, you go to the discarded cards, and convert mana cost. I did not say dragon shit. <laughs> I don't even think I pronounced it close to dragon shit. Uh, whenever it attacks through the creatures, it gains a lifelink. I, this is actually just fine. Like, just a 2 2 for two. I mean, Blast of Genius is probably the best card in this pack. Multicolor creatures have flying. Multicolor creatures have haste. Multicolor creatures have vigilance. I mean, most of our cards are green, though. Like, I mean, without... Without green, our deck looks pretty bad. 
like I would really rather just like we have we have uh what one two three four five six seven cards without green yeah that's probably not ideal I'm just gonna take this I mean like splashing a red is not really that out of the question Lawmage's binding is super nice where are the signets man where are the signets? Looking at you. I think rhythm is probably the best pick, and if we're just like splashing the red. I hate them, okay? <laughs> we'll bill you. Tide Spout Tyrant. Oh, is it Tide Spout Tyrant and Simic Signet? That seems baller. God, crackling, Cackling Flames and Wrecking Ball are also very, very good. Yeah, we're taking Signet here. And we're also taking... Oh, well, that's well, that's Tide Spout Tyrant. That was... Another District Guide. Celestia Guildgate seems decent. Hypothesis also seems pretty okay. Unexplained Disappearance, Deadly Visit, Double Black. Command the Storm on Hypothesis could be sweet. Like, we already have one District Guide. We do have six more packs. Hmm. I'm really tempted to take the, the red cards. <laughs> Is that greedy? It feels greedy, but I don't know if I care. They're two really good removal spells. That's the wrong color signet. We can't... I'm not going to cut white. Like, I'm just not going to cut Lamage's Binding, Dovin's Acuity, Rock Charger, Minister. Like, I just don't think it... Yeah. Vulture is obviously fantastic. Whenever cross button runs away from anywhere, put a 1-1 counter on it. Um, this pack's actually just pretty bad for us, unfortunately. We'll take the Signet because it's still a Signet. Um, Fyashino Fangtail is also pretty sweet. I mean, if we end up higher red... Oh, is it Guildgate? That's what we're talking about. Okay, I will snap pick and is it Guildgate. <sighs> Chemistry's Insight is pretty nice. I don't think we need another Command of the Storm. We have a lot of removal. We have Blast of Genesis, Command of the Storm, Hypothesis. -al. Yeah, we'll take Command of the Storm. Prophetic Prism seems real nice. So does Luminant Primordial. 4-7 for, for 6. With a Path to Exile? That seems pretty sweet. Yeah, let's take Prophetic Prism. And I think the only other even... Gift of Orzova is pretty sweet, actually. I am the eye in the sky Looking at you Oh my god, gift on our arbori our arbor arboretum arboretum elemental. I don't know if Eye in the Sky makes the cut. Well, I guess we do have a 3-3 three, three here. How good is gift here? Let's have rhythm of the wild. Gift might wheel. Wow. Lulz. Oh, Seize the Soul, and we're not black. And Orzlob Basilica, and we're not black. Pillory of the Sleepness, Sleepness, Sleepless, and we're not black. I do like Steam Core Weird a lot. I think Steam Core Weird is great. Why are the picks timed? I mean, because, like, I don't know. I, I mean, it's not an unreasonable amount of time. You like 3 minutes, 15 seconds for every pick.
take Steam Core Weird. This card's great. This card's great. Is it just Basilica? Because it's just a... It's just a Bounce Land. Could be Star Fletcher. It's kind of an ancient tomb, yeah, basically the same thing. I am the eye in the sky. God, if this was only a red or on color. Dang, that's so sad. We get two more packs after this. Oof. Big oof. I feel like it is Star Fletcher, but we have enough playables. We actually need cuts. Fire Main Angel seems bananas. So does Boros Garrison. So does Face Fetters. So does Compulsive. So does Dismisser. This pack is great. Good gravy, dude. I think with our deck, it's definitely Boros Garrison. I also think it's Fire Main Angel. Like, we have a lot of Face Fetters type effects. We already have. Uh, Law Mage's Binding and Crassus Incubation. I, I just don't think we need to face fetters. We also have Command of Storm, Hypothesis, and Blast of Genius. Yeah. Boros Garrison. Sweet. All right, last pack. Is it Signet? Oh, that's fantastic. This is also all four of our colors. Is this good enough to play? Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, if that targets only Inkjord and Ephilim, copy the spell for each other creature. Mm, dang it, that's not great. <laughs> I'm like, eh. Okay, well, is it Signet is definitely going in. And we just literally have, like, no targets for it. So. It got worse as you kept reading. Yeah, I was like, oh, dang it. Could just be Gorklan Savage. I do think a four... Like, this is mostly going to be, like, a four drop. So I do think one of the five drops is probably correct. It's probably Gorklan Savage. I mean, it's either Savage Worm or Sophisticate, I think. Six four always better than five six sometimes. I don't think we have the. I actually don't think we have the um. The consistent enough ways to bloodthirst it, bloodthirst this guy. So I think we're just taking the worm because we want. Actually, dryad sophisticate's probably always going to be an unblockable creature, and we do have a lot of top end right now. I'll take the dryad. Look at our sideboard. These two. All right, so we're going to take out the Golgari signet just because I. Don't think we need an off-color signet here. I don't think we're Rhythm of the Wilding. With two of these, actually three of these, we can still play 15 lands again, so we only need three cuts. I, I don't think our Arboretum Elemental is actually going to be great here. Like, it's nine mana, and we just... I don't think we have enough early creatures to really convoke it. Plus, we already have a really good 7-8 drop. Uh, same thing with Biogenic Upgrade. I just don't see us playing that. It's double green, too, so we can kind of avoid that. Beast Whisper, I think, is a pretty good engine. Just Eyes in the Sky is fine, I guess. It does make two 1-1s one or a 1-1 one one and a 3-3 three three if we've already played alive. And plus, it is an instant to trigger Dovin's Acuity, which is not nothing. Is Tyrant castable? Yeah, I mean, we have two Signets, a Prophetic Prism. I mean, yeah, three three blue on turn eight is really not going to be affecting us. And if it's not, like, it's... If it's not, we discard it to, like, Hypothesis, or we discard it to Blast of Genius. Like, it's not really a super big deal. How many instants do we have? Like the thing about okay, let's let's be clear about acuity. Like even if you play it as a three mana draw one gain a life, it's still pretty fine. I think if you hit it, all, if you hit it once, 
to gain four and draw two, I think it's just just fine. But to answer your question, um, six. So better than better than I was expecting. Sort by converted mana cost. I mean, Boros Mastiff is like one of the the cards I'm thinking of cutting the most here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Cut Aura? I don't know if that... Auramunculus? This card's fantastic. It's a 3-4 flyer. It just wins games. I think we play Basilica here. It's only one of our colors, but that's fine. Oof. Gotta, gotta do one of these jobbies again. Oh, Crassus? Or Aura Crassus? What are you saying right now? Oh, the Crassus Incubation? I mean, it's literally just like a removal spell. It's like an Oblivion Ring. The creature can attack, block, or activate its abilities. I mean, and then you get to bounce it later in the game. Or in the late game, you can put it on one of your own guys. Bounce it off of your own guy to give them two 1-1 counters. Like, it's just a really versatile card. I mean... It's rough because it's four mana, but like, I think that's fine. I can drain your mind. All right, let's see what we got here. Our mana base is definitely worse, I think, but we do have District Guide uh, and Prophetic Prism, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we get 11 lands here. We only have four red cards, and we have one, two, three red sources here, so... Two seems fine, we might adjust. Thirteen blue cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm okay with that so far. White, we have nine, so three, four, five... I might want one more white over red, just because there are a lot of white-blue cards here. And green, we have seven, so this is one, two, three, four. I also want another green. Was this three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Yeah, all right, let's try that. <laughs> this is what Brett just said. On color Nephilim, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, if that spell targets only ink, try to know. <laughs> It's reverse galaxy brain. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. I've never gone so flaccid so fast in all my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Brett, you are a fantastic human being, my dude. Holy crap, that's hilarious. Wow, that was hilarious. <laughs> I keep getting less and less excited. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. We do need a second green source for this whisper, but we can still we can still cast this. I can change your mind. Don't let your memes be dreams. I am the eye in the sky. I think one thing that you have to really be careful about in this format is playing your guild, uh, playing your your bounce lands, and thinking they're, uh, thinking they're they're guild gates. And being like, all right, I'll turn one guild gate. Oh no, it's a bounce land. No. And then you lose your your things. Green. That lets us do nothing. I think we're just making a 3-3 three, three here. Let's cast alive. They didn't play a signet or a bounce land on turn two. They are Ravna King incorrectly. Alright. Well, got 
some power on the board. Now you're playing with power. What'd they do? They crackling flames, my guy? Well, that's rude. Let's play this. This is actually fantastic. Let's hit up Bounce Land. Bounce Lands are expert strats in EDH. I once imprisoned... Oh, dang it! I need lands! I once imprisoned in the moon on Alex's commander, and he bounce landed it back to his hand. Oh, because it turns it into a land? That's pretty hilarious. They didn't do anything else. I don't know what's happening right now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get in there. Look how much damage we're dealing. Oh, yeah. Oh, they didn't kill it. Oh, dude, if we get to untap and just play any, any creature... Oh no, they're gonna black they're gonna black kill it. Oh, God! They black killed it. Which is a apparently a thing that I just made up. Um Let's play Minister here. We don't know if they're gonna play a creature. Is Hex a good card? My cat's name is Hex, but it seems like a meme. Hex being like destroy six creatures. It's hard because you have to destroy exactly six. So like if there's not six creatures on board, then it's like, oh, well, I guess I can't cast this, guys. Oh, guys, we're living the dream. Oh my god, we're really living the dream. Yeah, if you do three of theirs and three of yours, it's basically like, um, it's basically just a, a Wrath of God at that point, right? What are they doing here? What's happening right now? Oh, Keening Banshee is real sweet. Well, I understand. Blast of Genius. Hmm. I feel like we just play Fire Main Angel here, right? Am I crazy? I mean, one thing to keep in mind is people are going to have a ton of removal in this format. Now they're going to fight. Uh, return target creature card opponent controls. Opponent's choice. So they just got back... Nothing. Okay. I mean, this is always going to be yes, right? I'm never going to see a situation where I'm like, No, I'm good. Um, so we can actually get rid of this. With the sizzle. Oh yeah, bounce it. Draw two. We can keep summary judgment up. I think eyes in the sky. Uh, actually, let's get it. Really. Actually, cr this gets rid of like a blocker next turn. So we're just gonna discard eyes in the sky.
And if we draw Tide Spout Tyrant or uh, Primordial off of Black... Actually, it doesn't matter. If we can get a second hit in, we're doing real good here. Let's play Garrison, Bounce, Island. How long is this draft format? Well, we're 3-0 so far. And we're doing okay here. So I think it's pretty sweet. I mean, to be fair, this is also one of my favorite formats. Uh, Ravnica anything is, is one of my favorite limited formats. And, um... Yeah, so we're just going to judgment this thing. Don't you be gaining life on my watch, doggy. Yeah, that's that should be game. I can't imagine that's... Unless they have, like, Prey Upon here. But they, they, they did not. Oh! <laughs> See, we're not even going to attack here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good morning, good morning. They may concede before they see it. Woodlaw Crawler seems great. We're not black. Dang it. We could put in Golgari Signet. Then we have Basilica Signet Prism. I don't think that's good enough, though. I think we're fine like this. I think our deck is good. I've got nothing to say. But it's okay. Good morning. Good morning. It's a slow hand, but we have three playables. You got it. Oh, that's that's nice, but we have two of these, so we're probably just going to play it on turn four, to be honest with you. Fancy Art, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. 13 months, a little over a year. I appreciate thank your support. You. Hajulashi, 30 months. Oh, my God. You people are maniacs. Um, will Michael be joining you this evening? No, Michael's at work, and then I'll probably be done before he's home and ready to join. Um, so like we play this, we just have to discard. I just don't think it's worth it when we have a lot of playables. So like we can go Minister next turn, and then Dovin's Acuity into Simic Growth Chamber. So. Which I think is fine. Yeah, that's a thing. Steam Core Weird is also is pretty sweet. Okay, it looks like they're missing a color, but yep, yeah, okay. I've got nothing. Oh, prismatic lens, hey? Let's go Dovin's Acuity. Draw. This is a guild gate. Let's just play Steam Core Weird next turn, which is actually probably better than anything else we're doing. So we'll just play that. And next turn we can go Steam Core Weird into Simic Growth Chamber. Oh, Elkters with the 16 bits, Fall Guy bits. What does that even mean? I know you, we said Thursday for Fall Guys, but would Friday night work for you and Katie Dan's and I had something come up? Um, it's probably fine. We don't have any Friday night plans, obviously. I don't know what you guys have coming up when there's... God, are people just like... Is it not a pandemic anymore? One, two, three, four... Yeah, we'll get rid of 
this thing. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana next turn. So we can go Whisperer Prism. Oh, they finally hit their red. Oh, Dan, it's just we're going to pitch. Okay. I feel like I'm like, it's so weird. Rob was like, oh, we just went to Karab. Rob earlier was like, we just went to Karabas last night. And I was like, like, in the rest, you like ate there? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I guess that's... I know restaurants are trying to open up and trying to be social distancing, but like... Nah, I'm good. I'll just order it and eat it at my home. Like, can I do that? Plus, like, Rob's in Florida. And it's just like... You know, your state's fucking miserable, right? Like... You know, as a Floridian, I feel like I can say this. I've got nothing to do but talk to you. Good morning. Let's play Prism here. I'm just gonna pass here. I don't. I mean, like, I could attack them for one, but then they can attack back, and then one for one is not the same when we're at 14. So, yeah, that's pretty good. You're gonna grow my growth. Mm, okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Now we can only do one thing, unfortunately, which I think has to be Law Mage's binding. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. Um, maybe we arrow Monculus here? No, I really don't want to take a million. Oh, I just thought you gain two life and draw a card. Remember, you cast an instant spell. Okay, so it's not an instant, it's just a flashy boy. I mean, alternatively, we play Aeromunculus, draw a card, and next turn... No, we don't have enough for that. Never mind. Okay, I gotta mute my phone, because... Yeah, I think I've eaten on patios, like, twice. Like, outdoor seating. Uh, there's no dividing line. Uh, I think if you're from the north, if you're from like Jersey or New York, you call it Florida and orange, oranges in Florida. I mean, that's just that's just the dialect from from New York. It's not like a, it doesn't have to do with who lives there and who doesn't. Man, busting up my Simic Growth Chamber was brutal. You got a Hexproof? You got a Ranger's Guile? Okay. I, I don't know why you do that in response, but... It's weird, I guess. Sure, I'll trade with this guy. They have one card in hand. We have four. I mean... <sighs> Beast Whisper would have been... Oh, wait, what, what, I don't think it's six. Maybe I would have just played Aeromunculus and draw the card. I mean, Dovin's acuity is pretty nice. If we get, like, eyes in the sky or something, like, uh, that's fine. They're transmuting this. Conclave naturalists. That would be pretty, pretty bananas. Whoa, bring your demon. Jeez. Okay. I mean, sure. 
Okie dokie. Well. They're going to sack Primordial. I mean, like, let's hope they don't draw another creature. Oh, that was some thunder. Did you guys hear that thunder? Don't play another dude. Oh, they just get the they just get the sack. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> um Yeah, okay. Well, we have a cyclonic rift, so that's kinda cool. I would actually love to bounce the two cards on board. Draw them again. So they just traded Woolbringer Demon for Aeromunculus, really, and four damage. Which seems worse than just brain spoiling. Well, we have to have a permanent for the for the rift, but I mean, I think that I still think that's pretty fine. It's a lot of lands we're drawing for fifteen lands in our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. There's three more lands in our twenty card deck. That's pretty insane. Yep, that's pretty pretty fantastic. That's pretty fantastic. Yep. Sounds good. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well. I don't really want to bounce this guy. But we can... Actually, this is actually not terrible, right? Oh, we don't have four... Oh, we have a Prophetic Prism. Yeah, this could be good. I mean, I'm not going to bounce this. I'm going to bounce... I'm going to bounce the... Whatever they try to kill. Not with this, of course, but with the Tide Spot Tyrant, so... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't. I don't think it matters what land we play. All right. Well, we know one of the cards in your hand, so we hope we don't have primordial two removal spells. Yes. Uh, yeah. I know. That's that's why I said I'm not going to bounce their thing with it. Thank you all. You're killing my prism. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Actually, we should have used the prism and kept it blew up. See, that was a misplay. Um... I think this is uh, I don't know I don't really know it's it's hard to say they get to get another forest there's no forest in their deck Sacrifices an artifact or creature. <sighs> Fucking cool. Wait, what am I waiting for? Couldn't we have rifted, then bounced our... No, we didn't have blue. 
I mean, we could have floated blue, but we didn't have blue. That was for sure the misplay there. Snap keep. Minister. Minister, chemister. But it's one of those things that you realize in hindsight. You're like, oh, I don't want to have to rely on um, prism to get the blue, so... <sighs> yeah, we're not rifting our own stuff though. We rift their stuff and then we use the trigger from the Tide Spot Tyrant to, to bounce our Tide Spot Tyrant. They should have had jumpstart cards and jumpstart buddy, and that is a good point. Oh, a red. Yeah, all right. I'm okay. So now we have five, so we can cast most things in our hand. You gonna kill this guy? Last gasp. But they're just gonna just two, just a two for one. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's just fine. Oh, look at this little doggy. Hello, doggy. I mean, this guy's not long for this world. Need another white source. But as of now, we can go command into blast. Who do you think you are? Put the dog in the garbage can. Card is very good. Oof. Big oof there. Like we can play both of these. Or we can play this, keep up the removal. The uh we can also just blast of genius. Draw three. Hides about tyrant their face. That doesn't do much. Hmm. Second white would be just just wonderful. Three, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, I don't want to discard Steam Core weird here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I don't want to discard anything. Jeez. It might have to be Steam Forward because the creature they got back doesn't really do much. I'd rather just kill this thing. Plus, everything else in our hand is bananas. B. A and A and A S. Like, we get to go one of these two into this. This guy's got, this guy swords the plowshares. For some reason, I thought he was Path to Exile. I mean, if they have Sylvan Primordial, it's pretty, pretty terrible for us. But okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, so seven, and eight. Yeah, that seems great. Two 
two cards. I think we can take another three if they want to devote their turn to this. I mean, I assume they have Last Gas because that would be the perfect card for them to have against our Fire Main Angel. Kind of wish we had a Spell Pierce. What do you think about? Nothing? Wild. Did they just top deck a Silver and Primordial? Did they top deck Last Gasp? The top deck Crackling Flame? Putrefy. Sounds good. I mean, you just have to keep hitting removal spells, right? Like. Uh, always yes and always yield. Well, that's pretty sweet. Um, well, they have one card. So let's hope that this is good enough. Otherwise, we take five. We go to five. We get a six. We can loon a primordial next turn. Come on. cool must be nice magic player one zero four eight six nine two zero five seven it's really infuriating you just happen to have that when I have no other creatures other than Tide Spout Tyrant on board twice. Seems fucking good. Sneeze. Come on. Dang it. Nothing. It's going to be a bounce land. It was an alive well. Ooh, homunculus. You want to graft onto my guy? It's up to you to show me the way.
Okay. <sighs> I think the amount of removal in this format is a little problematic, but... So next turn we can alive well, gain four, make it three three, and then eyes in the sky to Oh Jesus. <laughs> I mean they're not really doing anything super exciting, but Oh, big fat watch wolf. Four, four watch wolves sitting in the tree. K I S S I N G. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just gonna. Actually, eyes in the sky is instant, right? So. One, two, three, four, six. Another blue source next turn, agree, because then we can primordial and tide spot tyrant thanks to the prophetic prism. I only have three cards in hand. I have to assume one is a land, right? Oof. Big oof. Make a bird populate. Ba -do -do -do. I'd love to trade for the wolf, watch wolf for a for a centaur token. Let's see if we can do that. I mean, this could be just a blowout, right? If they have any any kind of way to get rid of my guy, but they have one card in hand, so you know the odds are low. Oh, that's not exciting. This is also pretty, pretty good. Give him reach, block him a bird. Sounds fine. All right. I mean, we're not terrible, but this is really needs to go. Boros Elite. That's not exciting. Rakdos X Splitter is pretty good. I think we're just playing this guy now. Like, it's just a lot of pressure on the board.
Looking at you, I can read your mind. Man, Dovin is a cutie. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I see. Draw a card in response. Sounds good. Okay. Desecration demon. What a wild ride. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna incubate that. See you in the incubation chamber. All right, I'm just gonna submit. This hand seems okay. Has anyone ever cast a well without casting a live? Doubt it. Well, that's fascinating. No, we're not going to discard here. <laughs> I'm just going to play this guy. And you can deal him two, and it's all fine when you're almost doing what we got to do. You. JTHD Supreme Dream Extreme Team. You heard? With Purd. Oh, that's pretty good. So, what I can do here play this guy, bounce this guy. Three, four, five. That was a that was a nice little rampage turn. Uh, well, I'm glad that guy doesn't have ace because we can kill it next turn with our steamy boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alternatively, we can play Beast Whisper and then tap this guy and then summary judgment it.
because this lets us draw a card off of Steam Core Weird. Boros Elite. So this deck's trying to be aggressive, but I don't know. So, one, two, three, four. Dr. Steamington. Oh, wow, that's really freaking good. <laughs> Draw two with District Guide. Yeah, seems bananas. Let's get that Is It Guild Gate. Put that thing into play. Oh, we played a land this turn? Dang. Sad days. One, two, three, four, six mana. Okay. That is a thing. That's a yikes for me, dog. I mean, I guess we drew a bunch, so I'm not like super upset about it, but. The old Boros Elite and Sweeper deck. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, I got a bunch of little weenies, but I also just want to kill them at some time, at some point. a lot of lands we're hitting. And we have three removal spells in hand, one of which draws us two cards, so... <laughs> okay. I'm actually thinking, actually, we probably should have played, yeah, we probably should have incubated here. Right? Uh, green, green, blue. Yeah, we have way too... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Ten mana. So one thing we could do is go one, two, three, four. Incubation. Uh, one, two, three. Green is our bottleneck, unfortunately. So... Oh, we need blue for that too, huh? Okay. So we're gonna go. Oh no, green's not our bottleneck. God, prophetic prism is so freaking good, dude. Man. Do 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 
Oh man, Crosses Incubation is just wild in the late game. <laughs> Seven, yeah. We're gonna keep the pump ability up just in case. Uh, doesn't increase our clock at all, so. Oh wow, we did it. We did it. All right, Let's see if we can 3 0 twice. And by 3 0, I mean 3 0 2 1, because we lost him. To the stupid hit run twice. You're going to stay in that incubation chamber until I take you out of it. This hand's okay. It's not great. I mean, we could easily discard Firebait Angel and start collecting checks. <laughs> I mean, I can't keep three mana in our opening hand. Or we could also hit Land Signet. We did not hit that. Always yes and always yield. Well, we can't play anything. Hopefully we draw green or a blue. That'd be cool. Unfortunate. Let's go to incubation here. Oh, boy. Oh boy, this has been a good game. All right, let's go to the next one. Yep, still no land. There's a land. 10 turns later. Mulligan on. Keep it. Keep it. Put that tyrant back. I don't need no eight drop in my opener. Come on, blue source. Blue source makes this hand pop. All right, come on. Blue source, blue source, blue source. They're going to give me an is it Guildgate or a Simic Growth Chamber. You know what? It's playable. I'm going to get in there. I'll trade with this guy. Oh, they didn't want to trade.
You got it. That's the one I would have taken too. <laughs> Sometimes. They're missing lands too, though, so maybe we got a third game here. Pretty sure we play Aeromunculus because we can guaranteed do something with this guy next turn. And this is just a 2 2. This guy floats naturally. Plus, he blocks here. No oh, good. Seal of Doom. Okay. Beetle form. I guess this guy flies too because of the rock charge dream if you don't activate it, so. I mean, we essentially have three flyers on board and seven power, so it's kind of a two-turn clock. Well, boy, they're really uh, going to town on these these two twos, two threes. Well, we are one mana away from that, and if we put them to six next turn, it's very possible we can kill them if we draw land. But that 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 means that they don't play a creature, they don't uh, mess with our hand. They have five cards, four mana. I think that's unlikely, unless they're missing a third. They could just be missing their third color. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, they block. Fascinating. This is a pretty good draw. Um, let's get a second blue. Play it. Well, that's a life linker.
one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably this. Wow. Wow, I wish I still had that because we, oh my god. This is what I was hoping, Tide's about tiring into Blast. But I, re I, I thought this was on the bottom because we mulliganed it. But then I realized we shuffled with District Guide, so... Oh, that's frustrating. Well, no, that's frustrating. We could attack and then Steam Core weird it. I think we're just going to pass. I feel like we're in okay shape. Any blue source can cast Tide Spout Tyrant, so it's gonna be a Simic Growth Chamber or a Signet, I bet. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Or Black Creature, dang it. Silico. That's something all right. Take two here. Yeah, that's annoying. This is actually hard to deal with. Seems good. What is the real uphill battle here? That's a good draw. Okay, let's one, two, three, four. Okay. Have you seen the new Jace? Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, just passing here. They're at three. Jeez, why can't Command the Storm hit the dude? He's all right. Thanks. I feel better. Now. Yeah, I, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think. I think it's good. I like that you can play it for three and it scales up. That you can play it at five. It's. I, I think Kicker is a fantastic mechanic that gives uh, a lot of flexibility to cards. Oh, 
what is this big fat monstrous thing okay And they're more than welcome to sack these three to get rid of Minister. Oh wow, they did not do that. That's actually a little surprising. You definitely tap this guy and attack for three more. They they have to they they have to block. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Yeah, might as well. I mean, they have one card, and the damage they deal is not super scary. They could also Seal of Doom this guy, in which case I'm just going to slam Tide Spout Tyrant. But now we're going to Chemistry's Insight. I feel like if we can survive this turn, we're good. Yeah, that's 2-4. Sure, that's fine. Oh yeah, we're in the driver's seat now, boys. Less so now. Oh, booty dooties. What is this? So yeah, let's just rift here. Yep, Cyclonic Rift is a hell of a drug. All right, so, boy. Bayashino Fangtail seems pretty decent. If we can get the double, the double red. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, the game seems to go long enough that it shouldn't be a problem. Like they have a lot of one toughness guys. Plus we have a district guide to get another red source. Well, this hand's pretty bad. I'm going to keep it, though. It's got three lands. A blue source would be great. Boros Garrison? Okay. Do we have Fire Man Angel in our graveyard? I think we... Did we... I don't actually know. Sure. <laughs> Guess. All right. Well... That's that, I guess. Take Cyclonic Rift. Steam Core, weird. Well, that make, that's great because now we can turn to Boros Garrison. Which is not something you can do if you're on the draw without having to discard, so that's kind of better. Okay. Got it. Oh, that's a fucking banger of a hit. Wow. It gives us our blue and our second our second green. If they kill this guy, then they're not killing Fireman Angel, and they're not killing Luminant Primordial, so. We also have double red, double white now. Are they just going to let us draw a card? God, 
God, I'm almost tempted to just play the minister instead. No, we can't. We be fire maining. You got it. I mean, I would actually wait until my main phase next turn to kill it so that I don't gain the life, but... Sure. Don't actually care about that. Always yes, always yield. Oh boy, this is a turn right here, my dudes. Land. Uh, let's go this, this. Dry it. Sophisticate. Draw a card. Uh, minister. Oh, no, not like that. Draw a card. Yeah, our hand is bonkers right now. I feel like if you're going two colors in this format, you're making a mistake. Yeah, I'll take four. I have Fire Main Angel in the graveyard. Whenever a creature you don't control dies, return to the battlefield under your control with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step, that creature is a black zombie. So... So whenever we lose a creature, they like... So one, two, three, four, five... So, um, we can district guide here, draw a card, oh man, this is wild, why you would ever let Beast Whisperer resolve is beyond me, I'm like not even resolve, but just like stay on the board, um, we definitely need another blue source. Do you want a Guildgate here? We're going to summary. I guess we want Guildgate here. Yeah, we're going to summary judgment this guy. Tap this guy and attack for four. Uh, I don't know why I would want to cast Primordial this turn. No. Like, this card just gets. We just deal with this right now. We can tap this guy. Well, if he languishes next turn, we just Cyclonic Rift and bounce all our creatures. I also don't know how Languish would be in Ravnica block. Two, four. Oh, they have no cards in hand. So, like, Grave Betrayal is, like, absolute trash right now. Oh, wow. Tovin's Acuity, draw a card. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana right now. I mean, it's just Primordial, right? They have no cards in hand. This game is probably over. Is that presumptuous of me? I don't know, maybe. Let's get rid of the thrall. You're gonna tap one of my guys down. It's fine. Tap the beastie boy, sure. Four seven swords draw, yeah, that's pretty solid. 
If you guys haven't checked out ManaTraders.com, be sure to do so. They're the sponsor of the stream and an amazing subscription service for Magic Online. And 2-1, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below, so be sure to check that out. You can also check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. I had an article go up today, actually, where I talk about uh, a Bolus control deck in in, uh, in Historic. Either way. You think this deck is better than your last one? Um, I don't know. I think both decks are pretty good, and I think people are uh, making mistakes by playing two colors. So, Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you guys think of the Supreme Drafts, and I'll see you next time.